What's going on resellers, high beasts, and sneakerheads? My name is Duncan Beaumont, and in this video, we are gonna be talking about the third Jordan 1 releasing this month, the Silver Toe Jordan 1s. Now, these will be releasing on Friday, February 19th for a retail price of $170, and while they will be releasing in women's sizing, it will be extended women's sizing, meaning it will go up to a size men's 13 or a women's 14 and a half. This is going to be great because in the past, women's sizing Jordan 1s have only gone up to a size women's 12 or a men's 10 and a half. So if you wore a size bigger than a men's 10 and a half, you were pretty much out of luck. You had no chance of getting a personal pair. But finally, guys, Nike is giving us what we want, both with the colorway and with the sizing. This colorway is super clean. There's going to be a ton of demand for it. And given that it is a women's sizing shoe, I would anticipate that stock will be just a little bit lower than usual for a Jordan 1. These will definitely resell, and while we will go over some specific resale predictions towards the end of the video but before we do get into that the main focus of this video is going to be how to cop these shoes manually what sites you have the best chances of copying manually from when to go for them and all of that information so if that does sound good to you guys make sure you drop a like on this video for some good luck copping these shoes also if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe as well I'll have these how to cop videos I'll have flip or skip videos for less hyped up shoes and I will also have a cook group coming very soon as well as multiple giveaways and things like that so definitely guys make sure you do subscribe to join the community that will be a great decision now I do briefly want to talk about that cook group I have as well as the giveaway. The cook group will be launching in a beta phase towards the end of the month. You will have to apply to get in. It will be a very limited number of spots, but it will be free during this beta phase. No word yet on how long this beta phase will last, but I would definitely expect the official launch to be sometime in March. And all of you guys do have a chance to be accepted into this beta phase, which will basically mean you're just in the cook group for free. So again, more info on that will be coming very soon. So just make sure you're watching all my videos. Make sure you're subscribed and everything like that but anyways guys now that we got all that info out of the way we are gonna jump right into how to cop these shoes we're not gonna waste any time we're gonna start off with the raffles that you need to enter and the most important raffles for these shoes will be FLX raffles to pick these up in store if you don't know FLX raffles are Foot Locker foot action champs and it definitely seems like a decent amount of those stores will be getting these all you got to do is download those apps create an account and then go to the releases section of the app and it will show you if any stores near you will be getting these shoes if they are definitely just enter in that raffle and make sure that you check the raffle the night before the official release that will be on like a Thursday check it on Thursday night and they will let you know if you did get them if you were selected you can then go pick them up in store on either Friday or Saturday so that is definitely a great option because then you'll have them in hand on release date which is always nice so again make sure you guys do enter in those raffles other than that though there's really not a ton of raffles I would recommend entering especially for us manual users undefeated is one that may do a potential potential flash raffle so I'd recommend following their Instagram because that's where they'll let you know this flash raffle will basically just be a 15 minute time period where you can enter a form in their link in their bio on their Instagram and then winners are selected off that form pretty simple I would definitely recommend entering it especially since it's a flash raffle so less people will be entering it so just follow undefeated on Instagram turn post notifications on and you should be good to go you can definitely enter in that raffle if they don't do a raffle they'll likely do a first come first serve release at 8 a.m. Eastern time on Friday I wouldn't recommend waking up for that guys. It's gonna be botted pretty heavily Anyways guys now that we do have those raffles out of the way We're gonna talk about what sites will actually be releasing these on the official release date Including the number one site to cop from manually This is a site that I cop from manually every single time sometimes even multiple pairs So that's what we are gonna talk about next all right, so the first place that these will be dropping will be Hibbit Sports at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, and this is 100% the best place to cop from manually in 2021. Like I said, I cop from this site on almost every single drop, at least one pair, sometimes even multiple, like two or three. Now, right now, we are on the website, the desktop version. I actually recommend using a phone. Make sure it's an iPhone and have Apple Pay set up. This is very important, guys, because this is the key to checking out successfully. So yeah, just use an iPhone, have Apple Pay set up. Be on this page on Safari, not on the app. You'll have this timer counting down, and when this hits about five seconds, just refresh this page, at which point, sizes should load you just select your size and check out with apple pay super efficient super fast they have fast shipping this is honestly the perfect site and i think a big reason why that it's so easy to cop from this site is just because not a lot of people know about it now i have had a lot of questions about this method i don't know if i'm not explaining it good enough or what the deal is but i've been using this method and been cooking up every single drop so 
definitely try this method out if you have problems. I will be going more in depth about this method on my cook group. So just try to get in the beta for that or join it when it does officially launch if you are trying to learn this method. So yeah guys, that will be at 10 a.m. Eastern time. That should not take more than 20 to 30 seconds to find out if you copped or not. So after you do go for Hibbit Sports, then head over to the sneakers app. I recommend using multiple different devices and log into a different sneakers account on each device. I also recommend switching up your payment method for each account as well as the IP address for each device. Pretty simple to do. Just make sure that all the devices are not on the same Wi-Fi and you should be good. This will be a Leo drop, which is basically a two to three minute raffle if I didn't clarify that. So that's the reason that you do want to get multiple entries in because then obviously you'll have a better chance of winning the raffle. This will be at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Should be about two to three minutes long so after you go for Hibbit sports make sure you try to get over to the sneakers app fairly quickly but you do have a decent amount of time to get your entries in but yeah guys that's pretty much it for how to cop these shoes there's definitely a lot of other retailers releasing these however they just get botted so heavily and these are the best two places for you to cop these manually Finish Line and JD Sports are another sites that are very good. However, they actually don't have these loaded up on their launch calendar, so I'm not really sure what's up with that. But if they do end up dropping these shoes on Finish Line and JD Sports, those are some other great sites to try to cop from manually. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much how to cop. These aren't gonna be an easy shoe to cop, but if you do cop, you will definitely be able to make some decent profit or save some money by keeping them for personal rather than paying resell. And resell is actually what we're gonna talk about next. We're gonna head over to StockX, take a look at the current resell, and then I'll give you guys my predictions for what resell will be both after the drop and long term. Yeah, guys, right now we are on StockX taking a look at the resell prices. And I think it's honestly pretty obvious just by looking at these shoes, they will resell very well. They're a very clean colorway, nice color blocking. Women's sizing, that's not going to affect it that much, especially since they will be coming in extended women's sizing. It's pretty much just going to be the same as a regular men's Jordan 1 release, but prices are looking very good. We've got bids close to $400, some even above $400 it looks like in the largest sizes. And I honestly, I do expect these to drop a little bit, but they're still going to be very profitable. I would say these larger sizes... You know, the ones that are new to women's sizing, like 12 and a half, 13, 13 and a half, those will definitely go for more. I would say anywhere from like 300 to maybe 350 max. These smaller sizes are looking kind of low, kind of surprising to me. A 10 men's is currently under $300. But again, I would expect these to resell pretty well anywhere above 240 and up for most sizes. I really couldn't see any sizes touching 230, maybe like the very small sizes, but regardless, these will all be profitable. You're going to be able to make some decent money, maybe 50, 60, maybe even 100 in these larger sizes. So if you're skeptical about it, just stick with the larger sizes. But again, all sizes will be very profitable. Most will be 250 or more. Now, as far as whether to sell or hold these, I would probably sell ASAP. Prices will jump a little bit after people take L's and flood the secondary market. So that's when I would sell. Now, I'm not saying that these won't go up over time. I think they will make a decent hold, especially in larger sizes. Women's sizing Jordan 1s don't tend to perform as well long term. But I could definitely see this being a $400 shoe in a year from now. Six months, maybe they'll even be at $400 in these larger sizes. So it's up to you whether you do want to hold or not. I think these will 100% go up over time. I think they'll be a great hold. For me, though, there's so many different holds going on right now that I won't be holding these. And if you don't have the capital to hold these, I would recommend quick flipping them. But these will definitely be a great investment. Probably wouldn't recommend buying them to resell and invest in. But if you get a bunch of pairs for retail, definitely going to be worth holding. So that is something to consider. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. As you can see, all sizes will be profitable. Larger sizes will be much more profitable. I would probably try to cop somewhere in the middle if you're trying to resell these. You'll have a better chance of copying and you'll still make some decent profit. Definitely though, this is a great release, guys. Super clean colorway. Even though it is in women's sizing, women's sizing will be extended this year, which is awesome. If you wear shoes that are bigger than a size 10 and a half, you can still get these. As a sneakerhead, that's great. Even though I wear a size men's 10 and a half, I know it would suck if I wore like an 11 or 12 and wouldn't be able to get shoes like this. But as a reseller, that's also great because it means more sizes, which usually means more stock, and there's more sizes to resell and everything like that. So again, very happy about this extended women's sizing. But yeah, guys, that's about the video. I hope that this did help you out. Hope you have a better understanding of how to cop these shoes as well as what resell will be. This is another great release. February has been a great month and it's gonna continue to be a great month. Anyways, though, guys, thanks for watching. Again, I hope this video helped you guys out. Good luck copping these shoes and until next video, guys, peace out.